fear thing. <laughs> Well, hi, Leah. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I wanted to talk to you about um, mentoring because as you know, I've started this brand new one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, which I've never done before officially. However, you and I have been working together for a really long time. And, um, you know, I've been mentoring you, especially in the beginning. Now you're really oh, yeah. your own mentor for other people, <laughs> but but in the beginning, um, for a long time, helping you navigate as you began and as you started out. And so I thought I, I would love to talk to you a little bit about um, what that's like, what the value of, of mentoring with me has been for you and um, any other things that you'd like to share with people. Yeah, I'm so grateful to be here. I mean, as you know, like when I first started out, oh my gosh, I was really scared. And I got kind of thrown into my first teaching class. Just, well, you said, just go do it. And it was like, uh, I don't know about this. And had I not had you as a mentor, I never would have taught my first class when I did. I never would have, because I think it was only a few months after I had graduated from level three and I was really nervous, like all of us are, and you want it to be perfect and it's never going to be perfect. And you said, just go do it. And you gave me some really good tips and you talked me through it. And I remember driving to the class and you're like, it's okay. You're going to do it. It's going to be fine. And I did it. And it was a crazy class. It was, it was probably my worst class, but that was okay because <laughs> I got it out of the way and it never was like that again. But then on the way back, you know, we, we talked about what happened. It was so powerful to hear you say that's completely normal and this is going to happen and you did that right and how you handled this was really good so not only were you helping me to realize that oh some of these things that happen are totally normal and you know the more i do it the more i'm going to be able to handle it better but also the way the things i did do that i felt were maybe helpful you were confirmed it and i think that's really powerful because if you're driving home alone if I would have been driving home alone from that class and not had you there, it would have been a different experience. And I would have beat myself up because that's what we do, right? We just, our negative thoughts come in. And then that's the value of any mentor, but especially with you, because you're so loving and kind and just to hold that space for me and allow me to go, oh, okay, yeah, it actually was a pretty good class, even though there were a lot of bad things that happened that really challenged me. <laughs> It was a really good class and they really liked it. And they contacted me after and wanted me to come back and teach again. So yeah, but had I not had you there as that mentor, it would have been a completely different experience. I totally remember that experience. And I was like, wow, trial by fire, like so many difficult students to deal with before you had your classroom management skills down. That's so funny that how that happens, but you survived it. And now you've taught dozens and do probably hundreds of classes at this point. Yeah. So yeah, it's amazing how you look back and you kind of go, oh, yeah, that was a good learning experience. But at the time, it feels like so huge. Right. And so so, yeah, I'm glad I was I was able to help you through that. Um, and so I had a few questions to, to yeah. ask you. Maybe you can also answer. Um, so how specifically did the guidance and support from our mentorship together contribute to your personal and professional growth. If you think about it now, sort of looking at over. That oh time. yeah. Immensely. Because again, I wouldn't have stuck with animal Reiki and teaching and probably even practicing without having you as my mentor, because, you know, you get frustrated, you get frustrated by maybe the lack of clients, you know, the lack of um, students when you go to do your your classes. And I had you there saying, Hey, it's totally normal. People need to get to know you. Um, you know, four people is really good. Even though I thought at the time, Oh, four people. And you, you would tell me when I first started and you would relate your stories. And that really helped me to go, Oh, okay. I'm just starting off. This is completely normal. But had I not had that, I would have thought, Oh, I'm a failure. This is wrong. I'm doing something wrong. And I would have given up. And I think that that's really where the value of a mentorship lies is that you have a sounding board because I was saying earlier when we were talking that, you know, a lot of times solopreneurs or people who are just starting out in business, you have your friends and your family who are there and they're your soundboard, but they have a lot of fears for you. So they put their fears on you. Ooh, are you sure you want to do that? Are you sure that's a good viable business? And I remember when I was starting off in animal Reiki, I would get that. That sounds weird. That are you sure people are going to want that? But then I had you saying people are going to want it. People want this. Trust me, they're out there. There's a need for it. And especially with the shelters, you know, that was when you and I met, 
that was one of the reasons why you were so open to mentoring me was because shelter animals were my big love, just like they were you. And so it was really helpful to have someone with that same goal and desire to help these animals then mentor me and say, yeah, you know, this happens or to give me the tools when I was feeling really weak in the shelter to say, Hey, here are some tools that you have. And just to remind me of, Hey, you've got what you need. And I think that that's also the value of the mentor. It's not like you're telling me what to do. You're just there to say, well, you have this. What if you use this? And then for me to go, Oh yeah, on my own. And I think that that's really what was really valuable with you as a mentor, what makes you an incredible mentor is that you hold space so that when I was in difficult times, you were holding space for me so I could say what my problem was, you would empathize, and then you would ask questions, well, what, you know, what do you think you could do different? And then I would answer and we would grow and expand on that. And that was really empowering. And it was really like, oh, okay, yeah, you're right. I do have this tool. I can do this. Okay. And now I'm excited. And now I want to go out and do it. And so that keeps me going. Whereas if I'm just relying on my friends or just myself, there's no one to pick you up when you're down. There's only, and there's nobody to applaud you and pat you on the back when you do something good. It's just you. And that gets, it gets disappointing and and exhausting. Well, and I love what you said about holding space because to me, this is really the job of a mentor. Mm -hmm. And for me, as in, in my, as a teacher, what I want for people who, who, who are animal Reiki practitioners or teachers is I want you to make it yours. I don't want you to make it mine. (laughs) I want you to make it yours because I have my path and my journey, and I want you to find what yours is. So it is really important, just like we hold space with the animals and we don't impose our will on the animals of what should be happening. I I really see that um, philosophically for my students is I want each of you to find your own way and however I can help hold space for that and you know maybe give you encouragement or whatever, but really for you to find your own way, your own languaging, your own way of speaking about it, your own way of your personal practice, your own way of which animals that you enjoy working with the most. And, you know, all of that is really for you to discover, right? So I love that that you said that too. No, absolutely. And I think, I think the biggest testament to you and your mentorship and what you just said is the fact that you and I have completely different teaching styles. And so like when people are in a class with both of us, it's not like I'm a mini Kathleen, I'm Leah. And that is only because you allowed me to have my own voice and encouraged me to go on my path and not be like, oh, I don't want you to be a mini Kathleen because that's not going to help me in the long run because then I'm not true to myself, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, and I think people are always shocked. It's like, oh, wow, Leah and Kathleen, they're partners and people know you've mentored me for years. And it's like, Leah, it's so different. No, I'm not a mini Kathleen. And I think that's really powerful. You know, it's a really great example of your mentorship. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So um, can you share any specific challenges or obstacles you faced, um, you know, and then how, how, you know, you, you gave an example of the class that you taught um, that was a nightmare and that how I encouraged you. And we sort of worked through that together. Is there any, any other um, time or experience that stands out for you? Oh yeah. I mean, there's so, there's so many, you know, I think that, well, like I said about, you know, the classes and not getting students or just like feeling really frustrated in the practice, getting overwhelmed with the sadness of the animals. You know, you can get bogged down with the sadness of the world and the suffering of the animals. And I think that you were, you know, one of the gifts you gave to me was always being able to reframe it you know, being there to say, yeah, that's true. This is happening. But what if we look at it like this and we have the tools where we can actually help shift this? And it may not be this huge shift. It's going to cure all the suffering in the world, but there's things that we can do to not only help the animals, but fortify ourselves. And I thought, I think that that's really powerful that it's again, just having that person there to say, yes, this is normal. And of course you're feeling this. And here's ways that you can, and and how does it feel? And then also being able to just meditate together, you know, just to do, okay, we're just going to do a quick meditation to get back in your body and get back into your soul, your spirit. And now how do you feel when you think about it? Right. And I think that that's 
one of the gifts of this type of mentorship because you are holding space, but unlike other mentors who can hold space for you, I have had other business mentors, you're actually going to open up that spiritual space and help heal it by doing a meditation or doing a rage you or whatever that is that's needed. And you're always really good about, you know, I feel like we should do a rage you right now. Or I feel like, you know what, let's do the medicine chant, you know, the medicine Buddha chant or something like that. And you have so many tools. And I think that all of those helped me to keep going because it's a, it's like you're tre trudging through mud some days and it's like cement mud and you just want to give up, you get exhausted. And so having you there for me was always just like, oh yeah. And, and, you know, and you and I have talked about that. It's almost like your hearts get together and it's like, ding, it's like, oh God, I feel so much better now. I feel like, okay, there's light, there's sunshine, the clouds are gone. I can go forward. So that's, really powerful too. And I, and it's a, it's something that most mentors can't do. Mm, thank you. And then, um, finally, um, in what ways did the mentorship experience shape your long-term goals and aspirations and how do you continue to apply the lessons today that you learned then? Yeah. Well, I mean, f first of all, being mentored by you, we created Sarah, but then even through Sarah, just the different opportunities that I was able to do because of that. And just like your support. And if I wanted to go do something a little different, like right now, working on a meditation program and you're mentoring me on that and just, oh, that's a really great thing. And I think that, that, oh, wait, can we stop? Okay. I'm going to have to cut this one out. Say the question again. <laughs> so we'll have oh. Joe. Will Joe edit this out? Shaping, shaping your long-term goals. Oh yeah, shaping my long-term goals. Okay, so yes, okay. So, sorry. So yeah, I think that this mentorship, how it's shaping my long-term goals is that, well, first of all, I got this incredible foundation with you by starting in a mentorship, you know, at the very beginning. And that was almost like 16 years ago. Isn't that crazy? And I think that this is the power of a mentorship because I had you throughout and even now through those 16 years, all of these different things that I've decided to do or started to grow with or, you know, teach my class in a certain way, you've always been there. So it's been easy for me to see something new. Like right now I want to do a corporate meditation program and you've been really supportive about that and given me a lot of really great feedback. And so it's that, it's that, um, not permission, but that support to go bigger. You know, I don't have to think small. I can think big because I have this support. And that's why I'm so grateful for this mentorship. And I'm so blessed to have it for so long, but it's really something you don't grow out of. It's not like you get a mentor and it's like, okay, I'm going to do this for a couple months and boom, it's done. And I, I'll never need a mentor again. You need a mentor throughout your whole life because throughout your life, you're growing. Who I am today is doesn't look anything like I did 16 years ago, but where I am today and the things I'm doing today are all because of that beginning mentorship and having that really strong foundation. So yeah, so it, it's helped me to see bigger and better things. And also with Sarah, you know, because of, of our partnership and just how encouraging you are, it's easy for me to go, Oh, we could do this for Sarah and to try new things. Whereas if I didn't have that with you, if, if you weren't, you know, supporting me, it would be like, okay, we're going to have to stay really small. And we probably wouldn't have grown together like this because of that. Right. It's just, it's just the permission to really go to who you are deep at your soul and to have that support. And I mean, I don't want to say all mentorships are that way, because again, you're really special. You bring just that spiritual mental support and even physical, you know, the, the meditations, it's all to works together. And that allows me to be the person that I really want to be in my heart, right. Mm -hmm. To, to fulfill my life's purpose and to do it easily. And I mean, I've always loved animals since I was a child. I never thought I would be able to have the life I have. And I am so grateful to you, Kathleen, because I've had these amazing experiences and all because of you and your mentorship. I never would be like meditating with tigers. Um, it's just a, a lifelong dream. And every day I'm like, I live the most amazing life. And it's really thanks to you and your mentorship. So thank you. I didn't mean to cry. <laughs> My gosh. Thank you so much, Leah. Yeah. Thank you.